Okay, so let's take a look at how we can uh, solve this equation by expanding the um, combination terms out and then collecting terms and uh, seeing what we end up as our final fraction. So the first thing we need to do is just change each of these combination terms into their factorial expression. So n choose 3 is simply going to be n factorial all over 3 factorial times n minus 3 factorial plus n factorial all over 2 factorial, n minus 2 factorial, plus n factorial all over um, n minus 1 factorial. We can omit the, the 1 factorial there in that notation. So then the strategy as shown um, in the lessons is that you expand out the factorial notation and such that until you get to a point where you can um, eliminate um, the common factorial terms. So in the first one here, we need to eliminate the n minus 3 factorial. So on the top, you can simply write n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. Okay, and that will eliminate those two. And then um, we can even change the 3 factorial here to a 6, because that's 3 times 2 times 1, which will give you 6. This one, it's the same way here. So it's n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial all over 2 factorial, which is 2, and this is n minus 2 factorial, and then you get that. And then the last one here is n times n minus 1 factorial all over n minus 1 factorial, and that eliminates those terms. So then what we're left with is essentially just going to be a fraction. Now we need to have a common denominator here of 6, um, which is what we're looking at, because we have a 6, a 2, and then a 1. Um, so let's just uh, rewrite this and pull some of the terms together. Um, when I see an n minus 1 times n minus 2, I'm just going to collect those terms. Um, so we're going to do n times n squared minus uh, 3n plus 2 all over 6. This is going to be n squared minus n all over 2. And this is just going to be n over 1. So that simplifies it a little bit easier. Now we need to multiply um, a, a factor to bring us up to a 6. So this, this first term is okay. The second term here, we have to multiply the 2 times the 3 to get a 6. And then the last one will multiply by a 6. So if we step through this um, one more time. And again, what I'm going to do here is expand the bracket once more. Um, so n times n squared is n cubed minus 3n squared plus 2n. Oops, here, plus 2n all over 6 plus... Um, now we have to multiply the, each term by 3, so I'll just work it out like this, because 2 times 3 is 6, so we do the top and the bottom by 3, and this we have to do 6 over um, each term here, so this is going to be 6n over 6. So now we're in a position to do like terms. Okay, so we now have here, um, we'll just write the whole term out again here, it's n cubed minus 3n squared plus 2n, We'll expand this bracket, which is 3n squared minus 3n plus 6n all over 6. And then when you have a tr an expression like this, you want to check to see if some things can cancel. So we have a negative 3n squared and a 3n squared will cancel. And then this will be left with here n cubed. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 plus 6 is going to be plus 5n all over 6. So that is how it reduces to that same question. You could factor out the n and just have n squared plus 5 all over 6. Um, either example should be uh, acceptable. Okay, so that's how that question works through.